Okay guys, I got tagged by Papa, Papa Texas. And he tagged me a couple weeks ago and I, I've wanted to do it, I just haven't had time and I said, I'm doing it today. So, um, this is the 10 questions and it was really meant more for nomad people, but that's how I've met all of these people is in our, when we traveled in our RV for a couple of years and made some wonderful friends. Well, um, I've known Papa personally for at least two years. So anyway, let's get started. The first question is, how many rolls of toilet paper do you have? Well, thanks to Terry on Destination Open Road, Open Road, she ratted me out. There's a reason when we got ready to retire, we just started stocking up on everything. I think we were so afraid we was gonna be so poor we couldn't buy toilet paper. And my answer is, I have more than Papa Texas. So, we're in good shape. Um, what has been your biggest change since the lockdown? Not much. To be honest with you, not much. I mean, we still do everything the same. We never really went to town a whole lot anyway. Um, we limit our trips to town to just once a week and there's a reason for that. It's because I buy raw milk from a local farmer and um, I pick it up once a week on Thursdays. So if I need anything, we hold off until Thursday and then I do whatever I need. But really, I don't buy very much at the grocery store either because, well, those of you that know me know that we raise um, and produce most of our own food. So, you know what I've bought the most of? A little bit of junk food and potatoes. That's, that's about all I've bought at the grocery store. And then of course I get my milk and then I make butter and I guess we have bought some cheese, but I already had plenty of cheese anyway. So, um, oh, where are you currently parked or docked? I got notes here. Well, we're at home. We're at home. We never were full-time nomads, as most of you know, uh, but we would go out for two or three months at a time and come home for a couple weeks and take off for a month and you know, and you know, God kind of told us that this last year we needed to stay home because most of you know the old farmer had a heart attack. When was that? In December, I think. And then all this BS going on right now, or excuse me, the virus. And um, so, you know, God kind of had a hand in that. Number four, what are you the most grateful for? Right now, I'm very grateful that we live on a farm. That's why there haven't been that many changes because we live out in the boonies. So we go, we come and go, we're outside most of the day. We don't ever feel locked down. So, you know, I think about people, those of you that live in large cities and especially those of you that live in apartments and even if you live in an apartment in a small town, you're pretty restricted on what you can do. And, and I do feel for you for that. And I've got a few friends here in town that live in apartments. And they said, we don't even have a yard we can work in. So, you know, I, I but out here, not much different. What have you gone without lately? Church. Not being able to go to church every week and be with friends and family. I have really missed being with family. And what are you, what are you missing the most? My grandkids. I miss them a lot. They're trying to keep my little grandson that just lives up the road from us away from people. He goes to, the only place he goes is to daycare and he comes straight home. And we've seen him once, um, no hugging and all that, but um, I did get some playtime. Got to pull him around on their farm in his little wagon, so that helped. 
but I haven't seen my granddaughter in Oklahoma in quite some time, so I'm really missing those. And I would probably have gone up to my mom's um, at least once or twice um, since this all started. And of course, can't do that. And my parents are in their 80s, their mid 80s. My mom, even though she looks and acts younger than me, and I swear people think I'm the mom and she's the daughter, but um, she's got some health issues. So she's gotta be careful. Um, Oh, when did we last go camping or where's our last Lollapalooza? And I've noticed a lot of people have said that was probably the last time that they camped. Those of us that have a home base with Lollapalooza. So, and that's where I met Papa Texas and a whole bunch of other people. So, and I can hardly wait until Lollapalooza 2020. All right, what is my favorite quarantine food? Like I said, nothing's changed. Not much has changed. And um, so I just make the same stuff we've always made. Now my pantry getting a little empty for me because, um, well, the garden is planted, so we're gonna have to wait. But um, I've got, my two freezers are full. Uh, we just butchered a beef, so it's full. And um, I've got another one of course, you all saw me uh, process those chickens last November, so I've got I've got all that, and I, it's full of staples. How are you working out and exercising? Well, that's the obvious, right? I'm doing chores. We're doing chores. We're doing stuff around on the farm, and of course, the garden. And I've got it almost done. Right now, we're chicken proofing the garden, which. I showed you last year what we did. So I've got one raised bed left to go. So right now that's basically that and just doing what everybody else is doing, cooking way too much. Doing a lot of my own little experiments, which I ought to share with y'all, but I never think about it when I'm in the kitchen messing around. Number 10, who are you choosing? Well, you know what, guys? I think I was the last man on the totem pole, the low man on the totem pole here, the last one picked. So I really, right now, off the top of my head, I, I just can't think. But I would love for anybody that wants to do this to do it because I have so enjoyed watching um, other people's channels. And I, because of watching others of my friends that do it, then I've gone out and watched the ones that they've recommended. And some of them are very small channels and those are the ones I really enjoy. So, and then there is a uh, bonus question. What has or will be your um, pandemic panic purchase? I have one of those. Diet Pepsi or Coke, whatever, but um, when this all first started, I did a little bit of hoarding. I think it was on sale for, I drink the bottles and I could get four of six packs of the bottles for $10 for the 16 ounce, I think, or 20 ounce, I don't remember. I bought eight, eight of them. And then the following week, when I did my weekly trip to town, they were on sale at a different store, so I bought more. And today, when I made my trip to town, they were not as good on sale, but they were three for $8, so I bought three more. But I, you know, people when they quit smoking get kind of crabby. I have to have at least one Diet Pepsi a day, or I get very crabby. I guess there's worse vices, right? And on some days I have two Diet Pepsis. Anyway, guys, this has been a lot of fun and I have enjoyed everybody's um, videos that they've done. So I'm hoping that um, some of you others will jump on here and do it also. Um, I'm gonna try to get this video uploaded tonight and um, 
I've been doing quite a few things here on the farm I want to share with you right now I've got um, I actually have a video ready to put up of some of the chicks that I hatched this past winter and um, I've got a uh, incubator full of eggs up there right now that are due to hatch next week so I need to share some of that stuff right but anyway thanks guys and I'll see you around. Bye.